What's up, guys? Hi, guys. Holy crap, it's actually Wind Waker time again. We've been yes. meaning to do this for, like, weeks, and it, I think it actually legit has been weeks since it's we played this. It's been weeks, yeah, and I apologize. Well, we apologize, but obviously it was because of the move and stuff. Yeah, so. we moved. We're trying to adjust to a new schedule, trying to get this out, but we'll hopefully have two episodes up of this. Well, we will have two episodes up of this this week because we are going to record this for sure on Friday, right? Oh, We're both off. It would seem that Gan. Oh, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. No. He's got the Patrick Stewart voice. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean there is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Oh, okay. I was going to go back to. Engage. Uh, I was going to go. Yes. <laughs> go back to that island. What the heck is the island called? Which one? The one where there's like those stupid kids. How the heck do I get on this thing? What am I doing wrong here? You, uh, you got to stop. And then you should be able to just uh, climb on it somehow. Oh, wait, I think I'm going to drown in a second. Yeah, get out of there. You should just be able to get right on it. I don't... I don't. I think you just... Like, can I see it? Let me see. What is the problem here? Maybe we need to talk to him again Let's or something? Let's see what he says. We cannot depart until the wind blows to the south. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I didn't yep. know that. Okay. I have heard legends that tell of the wind god who once resided in this island. It is said that the winds obeyed his every whim. See, I thought... Have you heard nothing of him? I assumed I could change the wind once I was on yeah. the boat. By the way, last time, guys, we beat this te We beat the temple here. Dragon Roost, uh... Temple, I guess? I, I don't remember. Anyway, um... So, we beat it, and... We, yeah, we saved uh, Valu from having his tail, like, bothered by some big monster thing. Tickled by a crustacean. Yep. And then we saw a beetle. Oh! We saw a beetle, and it was fun. Yeah, and that's what we did, basically. Let's set sail, shall we? Uh, I love it. Um, what why haven't we played, like, why is it that, like, we haven't oh, played this? Oh, busy and tired. Yeah. Um... What the fudge? Hold it right there, small fry. Oh, look at this fish guy. Anyway, are you impressed that I remembered the Ballad of the Wind? Like, I am. Off by heart. Can you be the fish? I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there. <laughs> but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but but sea draw, seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. <laughs> nice accent there. <laughs> or, is he a Bostonian? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, yeah. He, 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 like, swam all the way from Boston. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that you got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. Well, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm losing it. No, it's something southern. It makes, it makes you look like you ought to be in your diapers. <laughs> just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. <laughs> This map isn't open. Um, I love the, uh, I, I always think of John F. Kennedy with the, the Boston accent. We are nation, you know. It's such a horrible accent. No offense to yeah. anybody who's watching this Sorry, from Boston. there. Sorry, Boston. Oh, you, 3D is from Boston. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, 3D, if you're watching this. There's a real peculiar cave to the back side of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> totally losing the accent. But I will do this. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it. And spread bait out on the water Which surface. Which we bought bait with a bait bag. Yes, I remember. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit <laughs> of doing so. Highly. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for, th for things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get... Uh, there's no way I could have done this all with that accent. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now, don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. 
Uh, yeah, keep going. You oh, you it. there, the you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. Engage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, it's great to be back. I love Wind Waker. Don't you? I do. And, oh, and we've also, um, well, if anybody didn't watch it, or any regular Wind Waker viewers didn't watch it. We also played Link's Awakening on the channel. Woo! Yes, that was fun. I enjoyed that. We sure did. It's classic. We gotta play more of that. Why is that? Why? Why is what? What are you going on about? This thing is like... Okay, there we go. We're far away still. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, is it marking where you're supposed to go? No, uh, there was just like a big block blocking the grid and a question mark oh. on it. Uh, it's unfortunate you guys can't see the... Uh, the image on the gamepad, but what are you gonna do? Oh, good. Ah. Now don't forget, if you see a fish, set some bait down. Set some bait. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I cannot do that anymore. I love it. I thought it was funny. It was good in the beginning. That's what you call a Canadian Bostonian accent. It's yes, when yes. A can Canadian and a Bostonian coagulate, and their accent becomes, you know, uh. Bostadian accent. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> what? Come on. You don't you you don't think I'm right? Yes. I can't wait to get the quick sale, to be honest. You know what was an interesting comment that you made that I had never thought of? What? That my dad has an Italian Canadian accent. You never thought of that before? No, of course not. Hmm. Well he does. Well yeah, I just never thought of it. Like, yeah, I've never heard any Canadian in there before. I've, uh... But I never used to oh. hear Canadian accents, and now I do. Well, true. I never used to hear New Jersey accents until I moved away. Uh, I didn't actually notice New Jersey accents until after I moved back from Montana. Because everybody sounded... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, if I were to describe the Montana accent, it's somewhere between ca the Canadian accent and the upstate New York accent. Mm -hmm. I'm not even joking. Well, they're close to the border, so it makes sense, yeah. but Albertans um, seem to have a different accent than Ontario Canadians. Yeah, it's I've true. Noticed. Ontarians have less of an accent. Yeah, Albertans seem to have a Canadians. pretty distinct Canadian accent. Yeah. Like the, it's like the further west you go and the further east the Canadian accent like, gets more I remember the pronounced. first time I met you and James and uh, John and, uh, and everybody in Canada... Um, I remember being with John and James and you in your car and us talking about that. And I think it was even, I think it was James who said like, yeah, you don't really have, I really don't notice an accent. And I didn't notice an accent from you guys either. And then now I, I still really don't, except for certain words. That's about it, you know? Yeah, I heard certain vowel sounds, I hear it. Just certain vowel sounds. It's not really anything like distinct. It's not like somebody who's talking in a southern accent and you can, you, you notice every... Every single one of the words they speak has that accent. I don't know. I I actually like this. I kind of like the southern accent. I'm not gonna lie. It depends. You. I like yeah. it sometimes. It's charming, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Everybody talks about the O U sound, like mm -hmm. about. Uh huh. But nobody ever talks about. Nobody ever talks about the A R sound, you know. R. Which I feel like is very different for Canadians. Yes, the AR sound is so much more distinct, actually. Like, I, I really hear it in my friends like, and family when yeah, I go back. It's like, oh, gotta get the car, you know? Especially Carly, I really hear it with her. Yeah. For some reason. Do, do, do. Are we almost there? Do, 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 do. Yep. Hey, hey, we're almost there. We managed to have an interesting conversation. Well, oh my god, this area. I love this area. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Robchul. The Forest Haven. Make it so. Ooh, wow, this game oh, yeah. is just really jumping to all the things that I thought were spread out throughout the Yeah, game. I love this area. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. We must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferrari's Pearl. Yeah, I had no idea that this was so soon. So we already soon. got Din's Pearl. Sorry, go ahead. I had no idea this was so soon in the game. Yeah. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of us of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Robchul. 
Do, do, do. Boo, do, 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 do. Look who it is. Mr. Robshaw. Beetle beat Report us to here. the bridge. He beetled us. Can here. we go see him? No. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, yeah, that hurt my ears. Um, anywho. Look, they're, these are like essentially piranha plants. Um. Except uglier. What did I want to say? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, was... Go ahead. Boko Bobasi. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was really fun playing Link's Awakening. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was about to mention Link's Awakening too. And uh, I was going to say, I really appreciate all of the Mario references in Link's Awakening. It's weird. Isn't like, it? I knew that it was going to happen because I had heard you mention it, but it just, like, is still just so weird. I love the Yoshi doll. It's the only um, Zelda game that did that, you know? Yep. I think so. Ah, wait. Is it, is it the only Zelda game that did that? I don't recall seeing that elsewhere. I'm trying die, to think. Die, just die. There's like very subtle ones, like the uh, like the Mario mask and Majora's mask. Okay, fine, to that you know? degree. But yeah, you're right. Where there's actual like enemies, yeah, I think you're right. That's it's the first, and only possibly. And like they're mentioning the Yoshi toy by name, like that's. Yeah. You have to actually get a Yoshi doll, and like chain chomps. Like you getting a chain chomp is a pretty big part of the story. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I gotta play that again sometime, but hashtag adult life, you know. I can't wait to see Wart, you know. So random. I hope I can get into the game more. I feel like I was just kind of frustrated and didn't know what to do. Well, like I said, it, it's a different experience, uh, you know, actually playing a game versus streaming it, you know. Yes. Huge difference, in my opinion. Because it's a more... If, like, if I were to play this by myself, it's a very solitary experience. You're more focused. And I'm more focused on the actual game, whereas if I'm recording, I'm chatting with you, or if I'm by myself, like with Final Fantasy, I'm trying to both figure out what to do and be entertaining, and it's very... It's not easy. I had to contest with a bunch of owl impressions and stuff. What are you talking about? Hoot hoot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and we won't carry that further. See, that guy looks just like an enemy from Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, yeah. You know? Clearly. The dude that you have to cruelly uh, take the limbs like, off I, of. I feel like he's exactly the same. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that, though? You have to, like, literally rip his arm yeah, off? Yeah, it's, it's really gross. Yeah, you literally, yeah, pull them off. Ugh. It's grotesque. Yeah. I enjoyed watching Walt play that game. As did many people. <laughs> it, was actually, it actually did really it well. It was a sensation. I wouldn't call it a sensation, but it was pretty great. You didn't even watch most of it, so who the heck are you to deny its sensation status? I'll smack status? you. I'll smack Look you. Look at the sparkly woods. It's enchanting, you know? Sparkles. It's an enchanting forest, or an enchanted forest. I just love glittery things. My voice just cracked with enthusiasm. I love glittery things! I love glitter! Like, I truly love glitter. Glitter and shininess. So... Here's where we're, again, different, because I hate glitter. I can't stand glitter. But what about glitter that doesn't come off in your hands? Then that's fine. Because I knew that was your only your only issue with Aesthetically, it. Aesthetically, I like glitter. I just hate how it goes everywhere. Good old glitter. Just so magical, you know? Like, I used to hate whenever, uh, you know, and I'm sure I'm going to encounter that at my current job, because I work at a college and there's going to be students doing things, but... When I worked at the nursing home, and I clean stuff, right? Because I'm a custodian. Yay! In case you didn't know, fun fact, I'm a custodian. It's fun. Anyway, um... Whenever somebody uses glitter, it gets everywhere and you can't get it out of any... You know, I hate it. Glitter everywhere. I don't also, like it. Also, fun fact, Rob's a custodian and he isn't, like, a chubby, sweaty man wearing, like, a wife beater shirt. Stop with the stereotypes of custodians. I will not have it. I'm just referring to the That's fact that... That's custodianism. I'm just referring to the fact that we watched... We just watched The Terminator, and there was a yes. custodian in it. And, and he, he was, was like, like, very overweight, and bald. he was, like, sweaty and, yeah, sweaty, unattractive. Kind of creepy looking, yeah. Uh, that's not me. It might be me in, like, 20 years, we but... We got this hunky custodian over here. Yeah. Well, hopefully I keep losing hair, and, like, I get fat, and... I could start getting creepy, you know. Drop out of school. Yeah, drop out of school. Sorry that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna leave the grass. I've alone. met a lot of good people who are custodians, all of you know. Damn it. You know. 
If it wasn't for us custodians, you wouldn't have clean bathrooms. Oh, there's like really stupid cliches like that are kind of annoying, you know? Yeah. I don't I don't care for them. Uh, not just that, but like all kinds of stupid cliches I don't care for. Let's read the sign. H Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. Like, I always used to hate cliches about, uh, librarians when I worked at a library. But they're stuffy and boring. Yeah, they're just, like, frumpy and, like, kind of yep. ugly. Frumpy, stuffy, boring. Like, undesirable. Sounds about right. I mean, I was a pretty hot librarian, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, I, I would say so. I if I went to the library, library I'd want to check you out. You, come on, you get that, you get that pun? He, 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 he. It's a good pun. I check you out. I'd even learn the Dewey Decimal System. Ooh. What am I doing? I don't know. What am I doing? I'm like being really weird. I used to know. Well, what else is new? I used to know like which Dewey Decimal numbers corresponded with which topics. It was great. Now I can't remember. Look at this. Oh no! Legs pissed. That god, that thing's grotesque. Oh no! I say, uh, like... Can you, um... I say, like, slam into the tree. See if you can knock them off. Huh. Yeah, see? I knew it! I knew it! Oh my Woo -hoo -hoo! god, it's a blitz! That's right, kill them. Kill them all. They deserve to and die. not just the men. But the women and the children, too. <laughs> my god, all this loot. All the loot. All the loot. Uh, loot. I'll stop. I I'm so sorry. Wow, I didn't even kill two of them. Oh, crap. They, they climbed up there again. Douchebags. Those trolls. Oh my god, what did Dave describe himself as the other day? He, he described himself as something? Please tell me he described himself as a Dave. No, I mean, I feel like they're just given. I think he described himself as like either a delightful or a pleasant troll. Oh my god. I must apologize, I was in error. I saw your clothing, and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That wow. longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. Nice voice. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you may my thanks for your aid in ridding me of these foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddesses? I see. I knew where there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood, but also known as my penis. Now I understand it. Oh my god. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. My god, yes. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourself. I can't wait. The Koroks are great. Here come the little buddies. Oh, Lookin'. man. <laughs> Lookin'. Lookin'. <laughs> Ready? They're gonna They're float such down. such friends. I want one. Look at, them. Look, look at them copter down. I need one in my life. I'll be your Korok. How's that sound? Uh, what do you call yourself? Rapchul? Well then, Rapchul, these are the Koroks, the, spi oh, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took hum on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Wait, it's not the Koroks talking, is it? I don't think it's the great Deku tree. It must be. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished <laughs> little children. I think what you mean is... No, they feel but to me. Because he's, like, not moving his mouth yeah. at all. Okay, right, now he's moving. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. 
I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. Look at them, like, just like, uh, just like, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for right now? <laughs> it's getting late at night. <laughs> swaying. They're swaying. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? I'm just being little Koroks. Yeah. We we are not oh great Deku tree. Something terrible has happened. It's Mar Makar Makar. No, what happened to Makar? What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, no, it is not that. Oh great Deku tree. Makar fell into the forbidden woods. Uh oh. What? The forbidden woods? <laughs> I told him to be careful, but still the car flew above the forbidden woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Ramchul, you have heard all this? The forbidden woods are right beside the hollowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region, is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. Everyone's just asking us for favors life, left, right, and center, you know? I know. Well, we do want a pearl. That's that's a lot. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But great Deku tree, people can't, cannot fly through the air. Oh, but well, well, we'll be able to very soon. Oh, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Robchul, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Did item I shall bestow upon you really need to be oh, I remember in this. orange font? <coughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Once again, we have neighbors. Sorry. Hmm. Forgive me, Rob Chul. But could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Wow, what a douchebag. He can't move! Why doesn't he get He's the He's a Koro tree! Why doesn't he get the Koroks to do it? Because. Like, what the Link beep? needs to prove himself, you know? What the beep? I like the great Deku tree. Eh. Be this guy. We Koroks pass most <laughs> of our days far away from our sacred forest haven, raising new trees to foster healthy forests. On the many islands of the Great Sea. Today is the day we return to our home for our annual ceremony. But poor Makar. Please, great swordsman, please save our brother Makar. Hopefully, hopefully Link can do it. So you gotta somehow climb up here and get this leaf. The question is, how do you do it? I will figure it out. I bet you the answer involves the hookshot. You mean the, like, grappling hook thing I have? Whatever. Hook sh oh, I'm thinking of Metroid. I'm thinking of a much better series. I'm just kidding. It. I, I, I love Metroid, but Zelda's just as great. Oh, fudge sickle. Fudge sickle, fudge sickle, fudgy fudge sickle. Wow. That's a nice song. It wasn't really, but I tried. Fudge sickle, fudge sickle. I want to have my fudge sickle. I want. I dropped my ring. I want to have my fudge. Oh, so you anticipated the divorce, like in that yeah. moment? Yeah. Yep. Divorce time. Uh, can he help you at all? I feel like he'll just say the same thing. Just try talking to him one more Wait time. Wait a minute. Hmm? There's definitely one up there, but is it too far away? Can you climb the tree? I don't think so. I tried. Hmm. Okay. But wait. Yeah, I think that's too far away. Well, let me just look. Yep, too far. Shh. Hush. Well, what do you expect, you know? I just need to find the hookshot point, that's all. Whatever you say, buddy. 
Look, oh, there's a Korok. Funny. Maybe he'll help you out. Can you be him too? We Korok can fly through the sky using our own Deku leaves. We Korok are very light. You look like you weigh a lot more than we do. Do you think you'll be all right? Hmm. How do I get up there, little, little Korok? I don't know. Keep going. No, I refuse to keep going. We're done this game. Okay, fine. I think the the, uh, the camera angle is messing with me a little bit. I'm feeling a little, like, motion sickness. Why don't you avert your eyes? I don't want to. I want to watch the game. This is why, guys, uh, you never see me playing first-person shooters, because I literally get sick. I don't know why. Uh. Excuse me, I know what you have to do. That little bulb. Let me just... Let me, let me, let me. Talk to that Korok. Do you know about this flower? It's called a bada bob. You can stand in front of it and tilt raw up to jump into it. Bada bobs have this particular peculiar habit of shooting you up into the air after you jump on, into them. So you can use them to jump on to hard to reach places. <laughs> He, I like the voice you have for it. It's, cute. <laughs> it's, it's the uh, Luma voice. Oh, yeah, the Luma voice. Oh, almost. Oh, fudge no. Oh, fudge no. Try it again, buddy. There yes. you go. Nice. Yes. Uh oh, I don't see where to. Oh, thank God. You, nice. be, you be this guy. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. Look how excited he is. <laughs> Yay! If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt in any direction, you'll land safely back in the Bubba Bud. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Toon Link, Toon Link. He just is Toon Link. Toon Link, Toon Link. Good song. He buddy. is just Toon Link. <laughs> Isn't that a great song? No, he's just Toon Link. He is just Toon Link. He's not Toon Link, he's just Toon Link. Well, yeah, he's just Toon Link. Toon Link, Toon Link. He is just Toon Link. I thought I was going to miss that for Toon Link, a hot minute. Toon Link. He is just. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. No, I got not. nothing. You're not even slightly sorry for what You're right, I'm not. For what you did. Oh, that's another Canadian thing. Sorry. Is a, definitely a Canadian thing. Hey, look, it's a leaf! Well, it's an Holy... Cr oh, my God. <laughs> Next time, we'll uh, climb the street. You, try one more time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> anyway, anyway to we... Link, to uh, Link. Let's we go don't ahead. need to revisit that. What? That. Why don't you tell everyone what we ate for dinner, by the way? This will be an interesting topic of conversation. Wait, what do we need to revisit before I do that? Uh, sorry. So, yeah, the word, I mean, there's an O, so that kind of implies that you... There's no E in it, though. You what? know, when I hear sore, I hear, like, S-O-R-E or S-O-A-R. It's S-O-R-R-Y. It's sorry. That's an A. It's not sorry. That's, like, A-H. It's sorry. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm tell sorry. everyone what we ate for Din Din. You tell them what they we ate for Din Din. I'm in the middle of focusing here. <laughs> sorry. Literally focusing. My taking stupid, a selfie. My Can stupid... you take a selfie? Yo, bro! My fake indignant voice. It's like, yo, bro, I'm uh, in the Chen Forest, you feel? Hanging out with some Koroks. Uh, if you could, would you be a Korok? Yes. So you're not going to tell them what we ate for dinner, I see. Fine, we had corn. Corn. Why are you so, had, why are you so upset about corn, it? We had corn, we had french fries, and we had burgers. That's what we had for dinner. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, like, and don't worry. You're underselling it. If you guys were all worried about her with her diet, I'm sure nobody was. They were Beyond Meat burgers, which were pretty good. It's not real meat. Wow, I, like, I just noticed the shadow there. Yeah, it's cool. You see that? That's pretty cool. By the way, this part of the game looks really cool in HD. Yep. You Yay. got the Deku Leaf! 
Yeah, plant your feet on the ground and blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swords, but over here. Over here. Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku leaf. Got it, little buddy. All right, make sure you Sweet, set it, buddy. innocent little buddy. I, I got this. Do again, you know? Again, my fake innocent or indignant voice you comes see, out. You see the little arrow? Shh. Ready? Do you trust me? Then jump! Then jump! Yeah, nice. Wow, what a nice gift, Deku Tree. It's so pretty. Look at all Thanks, the, like, the glitter coming off I of know. it. Whoa. Very good, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. I love how they rattle like a child's toy. I know. Then... It's cute. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother, M Makar, is being held. Please take care of Makar. Okay, why don't you exit there, and then we will next time. I almost, like, sword slashed off the cliff. <laughs> wow, that would have been bad. Ooh, Way to go, bro. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to have to go check that out next time. See you guys then. Bye, everybody. Peace.